Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Wasteland Expedition, which might seem like a weird card to talk about. I haven't seen this price until now. Essentially, it's dropped $130. It went from $285 to $156 TCG player mids. This is a crazy drop over the span of, it looks like, from January 20th until May 1st. Uh, very few cards drop like this, and obviously it's due to the Eternal Masters reprint as a non-mythic. So I see the solution to pretty much the problem of accessibility is to print these cards as non-mythics. If a card is desirable, if it's needed, if it's Liliana of the Veilis, if it's Tamagoyf, Printing them as a mythic or reprinting them as a mythic, I don't know, that kind of doesn't help as much. Uh, Force of Will, we see less of a drop in terms of the promo, uh, which is still a $400 plus promo, a judge promo, which is a little different, but this card has tanked since the announcement of Eternal Masters, and it continues to tank. Once Eternal Masters comes out in June, I don't even know if it can hold $100, to be honest, uh, TCG player made, because another foil copy comes out. And in my opinion, the artwork is not great on this copy. It's an interesting exercise in what happens when something is reprinted as a non-mythic. One of the biggest problems, in my opinion, of reprints is the fact that all of the good reprints are mythics, right? And that's not, that kind of defeats the purpose of a reprint if you really consider if the purpose of a reprint is to lower the prices, make the card game more accessible, then why print them as a mythic? Anyway, bye guys.